the biggest, most complex trial in French history now over. The verdict rare and severe. It was justice, for sure. But justice can't do everything. Justice is just, you know, applying the rule of law uh, and it's not healing everything. The sole survivor of the group that killed 130 people in Paris at restaurants, bars, a national stadium and concert hall. Salah Abdeslam found guilty of murder and terrorism charges, sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole. We are, we are now able to, to breathe again. Stéphane Sarad's 23-year-old son Hugo was killed at the Bataclan concert hall. Sarad sat through the emotionally charged nine-month trial that had 2,500 plaintiffs, a million pages of evidence, and gave more time and space to victims' testimony than ever before. And, uh, people around me uh, are quite, quite happy to, to, to reach this milestone. Abdeslam had apologized in court, saying that he backed out of detonating his suicide vest inside a cafe out of humanity. But investigators said the vest was faulty. A key question became, did he try to detonate or not? They weren't able to come to a conclusion. I think it's uh, really good news for the family. Um. On the street today, some French citizens were relieved, but not all satisfied. I don't think that uh, this sentence will answer all the pain that it has caused around the country. I think it's a huge symbol for, the, for France, for everything that happened. We can maybe move on and this page is behind us. For victims, families and survivors, this marks the end of a long legal battle. But this verdict could still be appealed. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Arras, France.